Hello everyone! Welcome back for more Let's Play Crystallis. Last time, my memory failed me about the next step in this game, even though it's not blatantly obvious like it is these days. Ah, the game... the days when games didn't hold your hand and expected you to explore and find things. Or maybe that's just me being nostalgic for, well, way too few clues inputted because of lack of memory. I don't know. But anyway, I think if we head down this way... ...and get eaten by mushrooms, apparently... ...we might be able to go... Yes, we can go here! And can't touch a thing! Goody. So we are not supposed to go here yet. Fun. Of course, what this means is that I was wrong, and we are actually supposed to head towards the swamp next. And if you think that little section of river looks funny, remember that for later. It becomes important. Nothing we can do about it at the moment, though. We lack the proper gear for that. And it'll... Ow! Jerk! You guys are real jerks. I don't know, they kind of look like psychotic bunnies to me. You know what? I'm going to go back to town. I think I'm going to go back... Yeah, here it is. Go back to town before I head back out to the swamp and try not to pick fights on the way there! Burn through all my money because of this inn and my own incompetence of playing this game. Man. That's the problem with grinding in this game. It doesn't really help that much. I mean, sure, you can grind all you want to, but your skills are going to get you through this game more than your ability to, uh, to uh, grind numbers. me and my complete lack of reflexes here. Uh, yeah, I still have this gas mask equipped. Good. So, let's see here. Where do I need to... Whoa! Hey, buddy. What are you, what, what are you up to there? Back off, please. Thank you. So there, that goes around in a big circle. Whoa! Flying! And can't hurt you! Good grief. Whoa! You know, it'd be nice if I could actually kill things in this game. But I can't remember if that's due to me being underleveled, or if that's due to the fact that I just don't have the next... the sword that they're not immune to. In any event, watch out for flying bugs. And black voids. Yes, we do something there later, but we can't do it yet, apparently. Well, apparently, no, we can't do it there yet. Yeah, that takes us back down. Whoa! Down. Go in peace. Peace. Well, this must be the town they referred to where they don't speak our language or something. Although apparently they know three words. And you look like an elder. Okay. Yeah. Now! Let's see if you put two and two together at all, because 
it took me a while of figure playing this to figure it out the first time way, way back when. The fact that we can't talk to the guy... We can't talk to anybody in there means we need to seek out help. And who better to seek out help from than mysterious old man that lives alone in the... in, well, the wilderness. So that means we need to go talk to that one guy that basically shooed us off earlier. Am I headed the right way? I don't think I am. North is the right general direction, but I'm not quite far enough west enough for that north. Watch out for homicidal mushroom. Here we go. Not quite good enough, but he will teach us telepathy, huh? Okay, we are going to have to try to do something about this. Come on. Hmm. Okay, that doesn't work. Come on. Finally. And the tornado bracelet? Okay. I'll pause. Be waiting. So now we have telepathy. I don't want to have that equipped yet. But you can do this with telepathy. We can talk to people we haven't met yet. We've met Tornell, met Zebu, haven't met these people. Unfortunately, that completely drains our magic power to do it. Now that we know telepathy, we can actually read the dwarfs' minds. Ethics of the whole thing aside... Darn it. That's still annoying. Eth the ethics of everything aside, we need to read their minds so we can actually figure out why they won't talk to us. Yeah, there are some ethical things over in there. Huh. Oh well. Rude. Very freaking rude. Now that we have telepathy, we don't like humans here. I think I've figured that out, really. You know? I think I've got a hint. 
Haven't seen a boy since we went into the forest. Have you seen him? You know you could have asked when I was here earlier. Elder will not talk to humans. Neither will you. So the dwarves don't like humans. And yes, these are called dwarves. Well, it has been a while since we've taken a bath. Okay, so we need to go hunt down a lost child. And he's in the forest somewhere. One of the many, many varied paths that the forest has to offer here. If I'm not mistaken, it's right down here. Yep. Yes, I can take you home. Don't dawdle. I don't want to get killed by the various wildlife here. Especially that thing. Flying bugs. Bugs should not be allowed to fly. And now that we've taken you home... And we have an insect flute. dangerous because of the poisonous insects it calls. And now we can go into the inn and rest if we need to. Yeah, I guess we are strange. We're helping weird people. And now the Elder wants another favor of us. We saved his child, even though none of us... Well, not his child. We saved his villager, even though they wouldn't help us in the least. Not even talk to us. There's a monster in the swamp. And now he gives us a sort of fire. So he gives us a new sword. Which you might have guessed might be exactly what we need to start beating up on those mushrooms. Not to mention that snow creature that was in the... Uh, on Mount Saber that we couldn't touch, but anyway. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Different than most. Sure. What do we got? Fruit of Power. Kind of interesting, but I really don't want to buy any yet. Believe me, it's useful. But right now, I think I will pass. Even though I've got a boss battle to gear up for here. Oh yeah, before this boss battle. Even though you are expensive freaking in. Good grief. I can afford it, so let's show you what telepathy does. And yes, it's obvious who do you want to speak to. And it kind of gives you cryptic little clues. I slide is not only for sliding. That's a clue we need something there. Grant the Oak Peoples re-guessed. Re and then look for me in the West. So yeah, this is how you would have known to actually fulfill the Oak Peoples promises. Or fulfill promises to them and such. Some of the wise men will occasionally give you hints as to what you need to be doing. This may, this is at times the only hint system the game gives you, as to journals or what have you. And we're back to just a singular, you know, charge build up there. But if you're wanting to know where this enemy is, this insect flute thing, remember the black void that I said would be important? Yeah, it's important. Because right up here... Mm -hmm. 
There we go. Ah, can't save here. Yeah, this is gonna make the video drag on a little bit longer. I'm gonna go back to the village and save. Just in case. Even though the save state is kinda clunky. Well, not save state, but this is kinda clunky. There we go. Just in case this thing proves to be bigger than me and meaner. It's been a little while since I've had to fight this thing. different thing equipped here. tell he's not extraordinarily tough, but I'm going to make this more difficult than it needs to be. Come on. Should take the opportunity to smack him. Got him. Come on, where's your friend? And we now have Ball of Fire. And that is a good stop... Stop spot. Get back here. And that's a good spot... To stop the video. And take care of that... Freaking lousy thing. Oh yeah, just in case you didn't see that, you get an actual trail of fire coming out of you. Not just one singular little, uh, blip. You are annoying! So anyway, good spot to stop now that we've finished off the second boss. When we return, we go talk back to the people of Oak, and then try to meet Tornell in the West, as he asked us to do. So until then, take care, folks. See you later.